welcome back to the RS Jamie YouTube channel. One of the things that people say to me the most uh, when I'm doing my videos or when I meet them is it's rare to see an Escort Cosworth. So what's even rarer <laughs> is when you find three in the same place. Equally, what's even rarer than that is when your best mate owns one too. So we're going to meet my best friend Katie and hear about her Escort Cosworth. So here is Katie and what we're going to do, Katie's going to tell us a bit more about her car and we're going to compare also the difference between the big turbo and the small turbo in terms of looks. So we've got three examples here. So mine being a small turbo car in dark aubergine. I uh, got trolled in an earlier video because I only said it was aubergine, so it is dark aubergine. We've got Katie's big turbo car in mallard green. So this is a K plate, one of the very first cars. Mine is an N plate, one of the very last cars. And then we've got another friend's car, this Pacifica blue, also K plate, big turbo. And we are here, the home of Ford in Dunton. So this is my friend Katie. So Katie, tell us about this car. Tell us, tell me about it. About my car. So I bought this um, 15 years ago. Um, unfortunately, my dad passed away when I was only 11, and he left me a little bit of money, and I decided to buy this in homage, basically, to him. So 15 years later, I still have it, and there's not been too much that's been done about it. Few, few little sort of subtle modifications and things like that. Um, obviously, got the RS 500 grills. Uh, gone for the Compromotive 18s. Um, it's not standard, it's a little bit more powerful than the standard one. Um, but this is actually an express release car for Ford and it was actually originally a non-aero pack car so when it was first made it didn't have the hockey sticks and it didn't actually have the spoiler. Um, I might go back to that at some point but we'll wait and see. Amazing, thank you so much. And it's a real privilege to see this car. And I think Katie's story is one that's absolutely fantastic because how many people do you meet these days that have owned one of these for so long? And I think, you know, that is what makes this car to me very, very special. And equally, it's so great knowing Katie and having her as such a good friend. And both of us owning these cars really does make it quite unique. As I touched on, Katie's is a big turbo car, so I want to take you around and show you some of the differences between the big turbo and the small turbo car. So first of all, the first difference being the mirrors. So the mirrors on the big turbo car uh, were these larger slab mirrors which were synonymous with the Mark V, whereas on the Mark VI, like mine, you've got the smaller mirrors. Then if we walk round to the back of the car, you can see the badging again is this badging positioned on the left hand side with Escort RS Cosworth and the Ford badge then on the right hand side of Katie's car. On my car however we've got the Escort RS on the left hand side in the chrome individual badging, the Ford badge moved to the middle and then Cosworth positioned here on the right and the reason for this is the badging was repositioned on the cars based on the base model cars so in the Mark 6 the badging looked like this and on the Mark V, it looked like this. And essentially that is the big differences between these cars from an aesthetics point of view. If we walk around to the front, however, you notice on Katie's car, she's added the Moret twin headlights, which I think absolutely looks superb. Synonymous rally at the time. And also the front lower spoiler has been extended to its full potential. Um, something that you don't always see. Whereas on my car, the front spoiler is at its most inward of settings. You'll also notice my car retains the original fog lights, whereas Katie's car, as she touched on when she spoke earlier, has the RS500 grills. And I can tell you now, having had this car in my rear view mirror a lot over the years, it's a very aggressive looking car to have coming up behind you. Katie's car is this mallard green which pops in the sun and kind of goes from a green through to a purple, whereas my car, is dark aubergine which looks black out of the light but in the sun goes to this purpley pink colour almost similar to dual violet. Inside Katie's put a few choice mods in her car such as this OMP chunky race wheel, Escort Monty gear knob but it still retains the original Lux Lever Recaro interior in amazing condition and sunroof. In the back it is like new and the car is an absolute credit to Katie and the years of ownership she's had it. Equally, being a great friend of mine, she has an RS Jamie emoji air freshener. So now we're having a look at Katie's car under the bonnet. Katie, what have you had done to the car? So, not 
major amounts to be honest. It's all greys, um, T34 roller bearing turbo, um, anti lag, got a few car bits and bits and bobs like that, but not, not pushing too much. But at the end of this year, she will be coming off the road because we're going to do a bit of a resto and she's going to have a full engine rebuild. So, I don't really want anything more than about 400 horsepower because it's only used for the road. I'm never going to track it or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, it's just subtle, subtle mods really, and that's about it. Amazing, thanks Katie. Let's have a look under the engine bay. So she's got this carbon uh, front piece here that's carbon's kind of synonymous with Katie really. We'll come on to that at a later date. Um, huge air intake, black rocker cover and it is a lovely lovely car and it goes very well. I can, I can account for that. <laughs> So a huge thank you to Katie for joining me today and showing me around her car. Really appreciate it, darling. Always good to see you. You too. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments. Cheers, guys. Jamie. <laughs>